Hi folks, this is Doc Scherning over with AR. I wanted to take a minute check in with you about the snow crab situation. You've probably seen in the news, the population of snow crabs up north, it's dropped by 90% in a year. The snow crab season has officially been canceled. And I often see the crabs described as missing, which I think is a weird turn of phrase. I mean, if you've found the crabs, maybe they're at your place, let us know. This news about the crabs though, of course, it's emotionally very upsetting. I wanted to put this news into the context of expected changes to the Arctic Ocean, because while this is bad news, while it is serious, it is part of our expected climate prognosis. Under our most likely future, which is a future with real hope for millions of Americans, we are gonna see big changes to the Northern Seas. I'm gonna share a figure with you from the National Climate Assessment, and we'll talk about it a little bit. So with the changes that are coming, we don't expect a future that looks like our past. The future is going to look different. And that is super true up in Alaska, up in the north. They've been experiencing faster changes than those of us in more temperate regions. And if you've been following our channel, you've heard me mention pretty often the fact that the seas are changing faster than the land. So when we talk about northern seas, we're talking about one of the fastest changing environments on Earth. Historically, the northern seas have been a unique ice-dominated ecosystem. As we lose the ice, this habitat is changing enormously. It used to be most life in this ecosystem was really pretty concentrated on the bottom of the sea. We call that a benthic ecosystem. But as the ice retreats, new types of plants will be able to live in the water column near the surface of the water, and we expect everything to change. More living things will start to live up there in that water column, and we'll see this transformational shift to what we call a pelagic ecosystem. Putting the crab news in this context, it helps us understand a little better. Those are bottom dwelling animals and they're part of a vanishing ecosystem. Their habitat has been moving north. And that is part of why the crabs are described as missing in the news is that maybe they're up way north further than their normal habitat. Although I don't know, it's likely they're all gonna turn up, you know? It's an important distinction though. The ocean where they live is not becoming a dead habitat. It's already a place where people are seeing new species move in. Fish that can live in the water column, pelagic fish, and anyone who likes sport fishing. I imagine you've heard that term. A lot of your good sport fish are pelagic fish. Now, up in the north there, that category of fish includes Pacific salmon and haddock, and they've been currently observed moving up into those northern seas. When you think of pelagic fish, you got to think about all your open ocean fish, like tuna, because any cold-tolerant, fast-moving pelagic fish it could show up in this newly emerging pelagic habitat off of Alaska. These transforming seas are going to be an enormously competitive habitat. I don't know how things will shake out, what the ecosystem will look like as it stabilizes, but it's going to be an absolutely crazy time. There will be fish from all over the place showing up in these waters. That rate of change, everything is changing so fast. You can see how there are a lot of opportunities there, but the risk is also high, right? It's not to my taste, I can tell you. I prefer an area with relatively stable ecosystems and industries, but other people, they're going to have a different risk tolerance. They're going to be drawn to this area of intense challenge and opportunity. In some ways, that's what's always drawn people to Alaska, right? With the crab collapse, we're seeing a phenomena that's going to hurt thousands of Alaskans, serious economic impacts. And I don't want to downplay the economic or the environmental pain in this story, but I do think it's important we all remember. There is new habitat, a new landscape forming here. That means there are opportunities in there and you need to be smart, pay attention and get the best information you can. Make it more likely you can find your opportunity. When you see the snow crab story, you need to know. It doesn't mean something unexpected is happening. It means that our most likely future is playing out as predicted. There will be more stories like this out of the Arctic. I'm willing to bet there will be less news coverage and the new species establishing themselves in the area but you ought to know that. Keep it in mind, because we're not looking at a dead future. We're looking at a different future, but it's still full of life. And let me tell you, all of us need to know what is coming to our home states. You can get a state-level forecast for your area's most likely future at 2050 on our channel, and you can learn more overview information about how our regions, country, and our world are likely to change. There are many places in the U.S. the changes will be easier to get on top of than what we expect in the Arctic. Many places where you can get ready and build a good future. Prepare for both the challenges and the opportunities in the outlook. Because there is hope. We can prepare for what's coming. Let's get ready.